it's a great pleasure to organize this summer school with WHO Europe, Université Côte d'Azur and Ulysses. We had 2,000 applications for 30 places. So we have today 30 participants and almost 15 speakers. And the participants are all from all around the world. We had the four days courses with keynote lecture, a working group, discussion, and we can meet together to collaborate for future projects. For WHO Regional for Europe, it's a great pleasure to collaborate with University Côte d'Azur to organize this summer school. Because non-communicable diseases cause almost 90% of deaths in our region. And this school help us to bring different stakeholders such as academia, policymakers, practitioners, civil society, and work with them to build their capacity to look at this complex problem and apply systems thinking to face this challenge we have. So working with the university experts and use NIS as a place to build this capacity is a great pleasure and we look forward to continue this summer school in years to come. In public health, we are used to deal with complex problem and to deal with a complex problem, you need a complex approach to the solution. So that is why I'm happy that I get the amazing opportunity to participate at the summer school of WHO, where I can learn and discuss with my colleague how to tackle the challenges of non-communicable diseases in a more effective way, which will deliver the population impact. Okay, yeah, so uh, no, it's great to be here. Um, really privileged and honored to be at uh, the summer school on systems based thinking, um, surrounded by uh, like minded people, but also a diverse uh, group of people as well. I'm very open minded to uh, the learning that's going to take place uh, over the course of the week. I'm actually putting together a Marie Curie uh, proposal at the moment, so I intend to hopefully integrate uh, some of the learnings from this week into that proposal itself. So thank you.